What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we're in BeamNG Drive in the middle of the desert in a four-seat rail buggy. Now, this thing is, not only is pretty insane looking, but, and apparently it's, wow, apparently it's either overheating or the tire smoke is glitching. I don't know which, but I just got my hands on this mod, and I haven't really even driven it at all yet, so... This, uh, my first impressions are gonna be the first impressions that I have of this thing. I have not driven it at all yet, so let's see what it can do. It's quick. It's definitely got some acceleration to it. Looks like the rear has a little bit of negative camber as well. Trying to be a little too stance nation for me, but... Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, that suspension doesn't look like it's that tough. Mm, yeah, it's not that tough at all. I'm trying to find some road, some tarmac. There is some on this map. I know because I've I've seen it. I've found it. But it's been a little while since I've been here. So I'm not exactly sure where the actual tarmac is. That's always the challenge with maps like this too. Is that sometimes you just can't find the stuff that you're looking for. Um, really? You're stuck? Come on. Okay, there we go. For a second, you... It's almost like you never know if you're gonna actually respawn or if it's gonna just... Everything's gonna just go wrong and just gonna fling you off into nowhere and crash the game. And that's just something you have to deal with with BeamNG sometimes. I mean, BeamNG uses so many resources on your PC anyway that it can be a very difficult game uh, to run sometimes depending on the vehicle and map that you're running um, because it can be a real FPS hog. Uh, just like I said, depending on uh, what you're running at the time, it, BeamNG can be a huge FPS hog. And again, like I said, I have no idea where this freaking road is. J there it is! Finally, jeez, some tarmac! And we've rolled it. And we've also caved in the rear suspension. This rear suspension is super fragile. I'm hoping it'll be a, at least a little bit better once we get out on the road, but no guarantees. The thing about this is that it's so long. It's a lot longer than any other, really any other buggy I've ever used in BeamNG. It's, it's, I mean, if you look at it, it's got a super long wheelbase. I mean, yeah, that's because it's a four-seater buggy, but still. And yeah, that rear suspension is, even when you're on the road, it has really weird flex to it. I mean, yeah, it'll go sideways, but if you see the way it kind of caves in on itself, it's very, very strange. Let's just see, just for the fun of it, see... Nah, it didn't really go up that, as far as I wanted it to. It's hard to get the power down because the rear suspension is flexing so much. It's like freaking retarded in the rear suspension. Jeez. <laughs> so much, like, it's just so much camber, negative camber. It's crazy. I mean, it's not really negative camber. They didn't tune the camber into this thing. It's just... An unsupported rear suspension. It's so buggy in the rear suspension. Oh, keep it. Not bad. Not bad, especially for a super long wheelbase car like this. With what is basically a broken rear suspension. Oh, God. No problem. No problem. We can keep it. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Really spawned us in the wrong direction. Damn, come on. Alright, power out. Come on. I have no idea where this road goes, so I'm gonna see where it I'm gonna try and see where it actually goes. Have a little bit of an adventure. Just trying to keep this thing in a straight line is a challenge in itself because it always wants to give little minors Oh jeez, we've missed the road. But yeah, it always wants to do little minor steering inputs left or right, so you always have to be on top of it because it's never a hundred percent straight. That rear suspension is, is pretty much gone again. There's almost nothing you could do with it either. I mean, what's in it, when it's in perfect condition, it's okay. But like the second you damage it at all, it just starts to go downhill from there. Stay on the road. Yeah, I can already feel the steering is already a little bit wonky. Oh, God. Wow, apparently just doing a spin can completely ruin the rear suspension. Because I think this is where we originally were. It might not be, but I, I have a feeling that this is where we originally were. 
I don't know. We'll see when we get over this hill. Yeah, I, yeah. This is where we originally were. This is exactly where we originally were. To be, to be honest with you guys, this is exactly where we started. We just basically did a loop. So we'll go left the next uh, this time instead of going right like we did last time. Power up the hill! Come on! We've bent the frame. Yep, yep. We bent the frame completely. Somewhat in the right direction. It respawns somewhat in the right direction. Oh, get your power down. I mean, but if you look, look how every time you land, every time we land, look how the, the rear suspension just caves in on itself. The details on, on this actual vehicle are nice, but... I'm sorry, but they, there needs to be some time spent on that suspension. Seriously. Especially, look how much it squats when we're trying to put power down going up this hill. Oh man, if I can keep it in a straight line, I know exactly where I want to go, but I, don't, I doubt I'll be able to keep it in a straight line. Yeah, that hasn't worked. Hasn't worked at all. Especially not the way I was planning on it. <laughs> planning on it working. Is there like a massive hole down here? I don't know, there might be. Not really, no, just a little pit thing. Honestly, never been this way, though, before on this map. So I'm actually curious as to see where this goes. Oh, this is that, this is that area from the, uh, from the, from the screenshot that they use as kind of like the thumbnail. Like, uh, just basically this canyon road. Try and get some speed up, see how long we can keep this before something crazy happens. And we're gone, pretty much. Think about that, what, it, think about that was, it wasn't like an epic wreck or anything like that it was just random yeah and that just alone just backing up and getting back on the road that alone completely screwed up the rear suspension it is so fragile you can't even like you can't even be remotely uh, crazy with it otherwise it'll just cave in I do want to do a little bit of a crash test with this thing, but it's hard to keep it in a straight line long enough to hit the obstacle that you were aiming for in the first place. Give me some power. Come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Come on. Not bad. Not bad. I'm trying to keep it on the road. Oh, this is so difficult. This is so difficult to do this with the keyboard. I mean, it'd probably be just as hard with a controller, but I'm doing this with a keyboard right now. And with the way this thing snakes all over the road, like that. <laughs> like that. It could be difficult. Like, yes, difficult. Saying it can that this thing can be difficult to drive is being nice. It's being very nice, actually. Ooh, I think I have an idea. Yes, I think I have an idea for a way to crash this thing. If I can keep it in a damn straight line. Full power, come on. Thing is, you can't really do, you can't really keep it in a straight line long enough to do any kind of worthwhile uh, crash test with it. Then I think we respawned cl close by. I'm, I'm... I'm thinking we respawn close by. I honestly have no idea if we did or not, but... Whoa! Interior view? Sweet! I just tried that now. I just realized, like, oh, I could try to get an interior view. And I was like, holy crap! There's an actual interior view. It's actually a bit easier to drive now. It's by no means easy, but it's a little bit easier than it was before. Oh, come on. Oh, getting a little sideways. Not bad. Now, give me some power. Ugh. Keep it on the road. Keep it on the road. Oh, God. Oh, it's not gone well. I want to... Oh, jeez. Oh, God. 
Yeah, that didn't go well. That's not going to be driven again anytime soon. <laughs> that, that's, no, that's not going for any more uh, adventures anytime soon. But if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And if you guys know of any BeamNG mods that you guys want me to showcase, definitely let me know. Uh, make sure that they're from, um, you know, official uh, mod websites that are safe and everything. Don't send me to any, you know, shady mod websites that, you know, are... are nasty and terrible but uh <laughs> again i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one talk to you guys later